future, all the great things we're going to do. You're in the hub. Good day and welcome to the Hub Internet Show. I'm your host, Joel Aaron. Last week we had Lord Ace and Mark in a face-off debate, and you chose Lord Ace to be the winner. So she'll be back on uh, probably next week to defend her seat on the panel. All week long we have congressional candidate Larry Goss from the 4th District and Jeff Martin from the George Tea Party on with us this week. And, and, and talking about a lot of different topics, but you know, one of the things that kind of, I, this really shouldn't surprise me, but in San Francisco right now, they have, uh, of course, course they have legal medical marijuana usage there and so they have medical marijuana brownie dispensaries and uh, they they have the pu- department of public health actually pu- public safety actually has rules of play for uh, for proper properly creating your your medical mar- your marijuana your 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 pot brownies and uh, and and they they're they're selling like hotcakes they're like i don't know if is little bit little debbie make these kind of things or should they be i mean jeff you could really, I mean, you could move product, I think, if we could open this up in Georgia. Well, they're always going to be hungry. There. So you can keep going. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Honestly, I, uh, you know, I probably ate a lot of things getting, working my way through school and college, trying to get through from one semester to the next that we won't go into great uh, detail on here. But um, I don't think I ever had the brownie. If I did, I wouldn't have known. Are they effective? I mean, see, that's the thing. I mean, you don't really know until, I guess, you know, you ask someone, <laughs> you ask someone who's got a better perspective on it than you do. I'll tell you one thing, though. Um, they, they may they may want to take a load off and, and chomp down on them a little bit in Congress during the uh, recess they're having at the end of this month. Because right now, the, the talk is that uh, the end of July, I mean, they, uh, our, our congressionally elected representatives cannot get out of Washington, D.C. fast enough right now because they see it coming in November. And the talk right now uh, between the, the, the Reed pelosi obama crowd is that between November 2nd, the election and uh, the inauguration of all the new uh, freshman uh, congressmen in January, we're going to have – a ram session of of policies like you've like you've never seen before during a lame duck session. They can't uh, they can't be voted out. They've already been voted out, and they're not going to be coming back for more. So they are going to pass everything they can possibly get through in that uh, two month period. I mean, you won't have seen this much productivity in one building since uh, since you know the elves around December working overtime to finish the deadline. Uh, this is going to be incredible. And Larry, you're trying to run yeah. to get in this animal house. Uh, what do you expect to see if you get there? I, well, I want to say instead of productivity, so much destruction that they're going to try and do. Because, again, yeah. they're going to try and do the cap and trade. They're going to do amnesty. They're going to do everything that they've been trying to do and leave it at the American people. And we need to get them stopped. So it scares me what they're going to come through because uh, they got nothing else uh, going. They're like, hey, I'm out of here. I'm going to get what I want through and then leave and take their full retirement because they got theirs. Well, and they're talking about cap and trade. They're talking about card check. They're talking about a lot of different pork. Honestly, I mean, cap and trade at this point, they're, they're, there's less and less and less support for it. And I look at this, Jeff, and I'm thinking, you know, I guess we need another one of those videos like we showed at the Climate Summit where you got the little girl hanging off the ledge off the top branch of a 30-foot <laughs> tree and you got a monsoon coming at her. We need a little more uh, overwhelming rhetoric going, a little more overwhelming to, to push this kind of thing through. Look, <clears throat> these folks... You know, it's easy to go spend other people's money. They're in a hurry to get in. It's their last hurrah. They are they are going to get in here and spend, and then they're going to exit. You know, exit stage left. Okay. So my point is, is they they haven't been fiscally responsible. What makes them going to be physically responsible now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, you've got uh, you've got guys like, um, you know, just coming right out and saying it right now, honestly, uh, saying what their what their goals are. North Dakota's Kent Conrad who's the chairman of the Senate uh, Budget uh, Committee. Um, He wants a lame duck session. He's saying we're going to act on the recommendation of President Obama's deficit commission which is due out December 1, should be due out earlier than that. But uh, he says it could be a huge deal. He was talking to Roll Call last week. He said, we could get the country on a sound, long-term fiscal path. In other words, we point the car down the, down the hill, and we wind it up and leave the building. Yeah, it, 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 it's scary what they're, they're pushing for because, again, this is going to be their last-ditch effort because they realize they're going to possibly lose the House, possibly lose the Senate, and they won't have another opportunity because America is recognizing that it's, it's – 
everything is run by the Democrats right now, and they cannot blame the Republicans on anything that's going wrong. They have full control on passing whatever they want, and when America realizes it, it'll never, they won't give them that much control again. So this is it. Well, and, and, and here's the thing. I, I think it was Mike Allen with Politico recently said this, that one of the reasons why President Obama did not bring out more in the climate bill in his recent, uh, you know, uh, global, uh, his, his recent speech on the Gulf Coast crisis is that he's planning to ram a lot of this through right after, uh, during the lame duck session. He right. believes he can get a lot more accomplished at that point. And, and, and I'm sitting here thinking, I mean, how do you reverse a lot of this once it's been put in place? Because they're talking about uh, putting some ironclad uh, regulations in place to where you cannot reverse the budget initiatives and the budget uh, legislations that they, have, uh, that they have rammed through against our will. I disagree. Congress is always going to be able to look at the budget, how they want to do. They can't right now. We can't even get Congress to pass a budget because they don't want American people to see what what the costs are going to be. But when the new session comes in, they can take a look. And, and to me, let's not pass any more legislation. Just let's look at what we have on the books and stop some of the penalties they have. Yeah. Well, you've got you've got. I mean, here's some of the possibilities they're saying right now. They're saying that. Uh, there could be Senate ratification of a new START nuclear treaty. There could be a federally mandated universal voter registration system that would actually override the state's uh, registration systems that, that are in place. Card check, obviously, would, would, would swing open the doors for unions to jump in and uh, muscle their way into getting people to vote the way they want them to and, and con- you know, condense their power. So. Well- I was going to say, on, on the car check, don't let people fool you because I've had discussions with some of the unions, and it, and they'll say it's not going to get rid of the secret ballot. But what it does do is it, if the unions have 51% of the people who have signed, it gives them the right to negotiate. It may not say that it's done away the secret ballot, but no longer, if they have 51%, no longer do you have a right to negotiate your own contract. Yeah. It yeah. takes that out away from you. So. Yeah, because ultimately they have they have the, the final word at that point. They've got all they need. Jeff? They just want the Democrats have jammed through Obamacare. They want more federal control. They want more uh, control over our lives. It's it's it, To me, it's just... Uh, it's unbelievable the control that these folks want over our lives. And we as a society need to stop it. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that's about all it is. The will of the people is going to have to reign supreme in this case. Exactly. We'll see you tomorrow on The Hub.